that we've lost recently. I'm sure many of you remember Chandar Singh Mandari, who worked in the, in the office for years and was a magnificent basketball player. So a story, a lovely story about Chandar. By the way, his sons and grandsons are working at Woodstock, so tradition carries on. Um, in uh, uh, October of 1967, Woodstock was chosen to represent the Dehradun District Sports Association in the UP Basketball Championships in Rurki. Bob Waltner also came. There was a mixed staff student team, so Chandar was part of the team. And we left on Thursday after school to arrive in Rurki on Thursday night and play Friday, Saturday, Sunday and come back. By the way, we made it to the semi-finals where we were defeated by UP police, the eventual winners, but that's not the story. Each one of us was given 15 rupees for the weekend. Now at that time, Chandra Singh Bhattari's salary was 10 rupees. And he had just gotten married. And he was given 15 rupees on Thursday. We left just after school by bus. So he and I were great buddies. and. Uh, he said, Tommy Saab, just keep my 15 rupees because I'm worried that I might spend it. And I said, Chandra Singh, if I were you, I would send a money order to your wife right now with these 15 rupees. He said, no, I, you will look after it. I said, okay. We arrived in Rurki. There was a picture running called Our Man in Istanbul, which in those days was considered rather uh, one of those films. So all of us went to see Our Man in Istanbul, after which we went to the restaurant in Rurki where the Beatles stopped on the way to uh, Rishikesh. And their signatures are still there in the, what is the John what's the name of the restaurant? Not Napoli. It's something like, anyway. We went there for Khana. We had a good Khana. Then we had ice cream and Coca-Cola. And then since it was getting late, we all decided we should see our man in Istanbul again. <laughs> so off we went to see again. And next morning, and I've been paying Chandra's, you know, part of the thing. Next morning, he comes to me and says, Tom Sab, I want to send money over to my wife. <laughs> I said, Chandra, I've got one rupee and 20, 20 pence left. And he was broken hearted because he wanted to send 15 rupees to his bride. Okay, now, then another continuation. Bob Alter became the principal of Woodstock. And Chandar was now, in those days, he used to get a night duty in, uh, in the high school. If you were looking after some program in Parker Hall, you got five rupees extra per month. So Chandar used to get this duty. So by that time, his salary was like 25 rupees, and plus he got 5 rupees. So what happened, he was shifted down to the high school, down to the main office. And Surat Singh was given that job in the high school. So Chandar was broken hearted. So he went to Bob Alter to explain his problems. So you have to hear this from Austin Singh, but Austin Singh is no longer with us. You remember Austin Singh who used to work in the office? You remember Jim Steyer? Who remembers Jim Steyer? Jim Steyer, okay. Now, there were two Singhs, Austin Singh and Justin Singh. They were brothers. They both worked in the office. Yeah. Yeah. Jim Steyer could never get the name straight, being a good American. <laughs> so I said, very simple. The one who's just in the door is Justin Singh. <laughs> <laughs> Which was true, because he used to give us the cash. And Austin Singh is in the back, but that's not the story. <laughs> the story is, Chandar Singh came to see Bob Alter about getting that job back. So Austin Singh told me this story. So Chandar Singh comes in and Bob is sitting there and of course he says, Hello Chandar, why, how are you? All in Hindi, of course. So Chandar Singh said, you know, Saab, I've lost that job in the high school. So Bob Walter said, Maybe we sochrata. I was thinking the same thing. So Chandar Singh said, Saab, I've lost the job. Ha, maybe we sochrata. And you know, sir, I've just gotten recently married. Bob Walter says, uh, maybe we sooch <laughs> And you know, sahab, my kharcha, my cost is going up. Bob Alter says, uh, maybe we sooch raha. So anything Chandra Singh said, Bob Alter would say, uh, maybe we sooch raha. I'm thinking the same thing. So after about 10 minutes, Chandra was very happy that he's got this job back. So he goes to tell Austin Singh that oh, I'm sahab, I'm, Austin Singh, I'm very happy. Alter Saab has agreed to my wish. So Austin Singh said, what did Alter Saab tell you? 
Chandra Singh said that anything I said, Otto Saab said, I was also thinking about that. So Austin said, that means you're not going to get a single nap, Asa. <laughs> Bob Alter cannot say no. And whenever he's supposed to say no, he says, I'm happy what he's going to do. So you're not going to get the job back. And he was absolutely right. So Bob Alter said, I'm happy what he's going to do. So any nephew or son of Bob Alter says, I'm happy what he's going to do. You know that you've got no chance. Thank you very much. But Chandra Singh was a dear, dear friend and a great, great man. And we lost him about six months ago. Great man. You remember him. Great, great man, Chandra Singh Bhattar. And when, when we played in the, in the Rutki thing, he was the only non-American there. And here was this handsome, he used to play Ram in the, in the Ram Lima. Handsome guy, and he used to smile whatever he did. And he had a hook shot. Yeah, yeah, he'd get the ball anywhere on the court and he would do a hook shot like this. Yeah. And he would make it. Make it. Wow. So whenever Chandra Singh got the ball, the crowds, he became the crowd favorite. <laughs> And they started chanting something which we could not understand. And it was like this, the whole Rurki crowd, utilize, utilize, utilize. And we couldn't understand what these guys were chanting. So in half time I went and said, what are you saying? They were saying utilize. In other words, utilize the opportunity. <laughs> so whenever Chandra got the ball for a hook, the entire Rurki crowd would go, you till lies. <laughs> so you never know. Thank you very, very much.